What's up everybody, Jared here for the Smoking Android and we're going to show you on this video how to install Notorious's uh, Neutrino ROM version 2.6, the newest update. Um, and it actually comes with a bunch of new uh, uh, stuff with it. It's got a new base ROM which is the brand new Cyanage Mod 7.2 Release Candidate 1. So that should be interesting to see. So you have some uh, pretty decent optimizations now and should be apparently better than ever. Um, as you can see, I'm going down this page, which is where I will be posting a link in the description below for you to come to and download the ROM. Um, he's got, a, as you can see, some screenshots I was looking at before there. And, um, of course, the features that the uh, ROM comes with. One thing I do love about this ROM, at least downloading it, takes about, ah, about one minute. <laughs> and that's probably due to the 49 megabyte file size that it has. Um, as you can see, going down the list here, we've got a bunch of updates and stuff like that. Um, you can look at those yourself, some installation instructions. You're going to want to come all the way down to right about here. And you'll be clicking either the, um, well, you'll be clicking download the ROM, and uh, that'll take you to another page, which is actually Joker Sax's page, who is doing Sanage Mod 9 right now. But um, he's got a couple of developers on here that they're working together, I suppose. Anyways, uh, you'll be selecting either Neutrino ROM EE, the GT or the GT Plus version. I've gone ahead and already selected the Neutrino ROM GT because, I mean, it already has great battery life. It already has great performance. Um, downloading this particular ROM, I don't think I'm going to notice a difference in performance as far as playing games and stuff like that goes. Because even at the 1.0 uh, gigahertz kernel, you know, games still flew, so, um, yeah, that's up to you. But anyways, so you download uh, whatever version you want here. And then um, going back to the page here, um, you'll notice that um, there's also an add-ons. This is a G app, so you're going to want to click on that one. If you haven't already done so, he hasn't changed the versions of these G apps so, um, and add-ons or anything like that, so you're going to want to, you're going to want, there's light G apps right there. So if you um, you're gonna want to, you're gonna need that and flash it, and we'll get into that into the uh, installing uh, process. But you're gonna want to download that if you don't already have it. And of course, um, all of his other add-ons that uh, people find important. You know, sync add-on is one I think is really important. If you like live wallpapers, you're gonna want to download that one. Um, you know, so it's up to you. Just have a look through there. Make sure you know which ones you want, which ones you don't care about. Uh, because if you flash the ROM, these add-ons will not be there, which is why the actual ROM file size is only 49 megs. But uh, obviously adding some of these on beefs up the file size. But nevertheless, um, okay, so once you've downloaded your ROM, you're going to go ahead and um, load it onto your SD card. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, cut this out and come back to our device. All right, so now we're back at our device. You go ahead and... Um, unlock the screen and what we're going to do is go ahead and power off the device and get into recovery. You can either do that by going into, if you have it, ROM manager and reboot into recovery or like most custom ROMs these days come with the reboot into recovery option. Um, but for those of you that don't have that or don't know how to do it, I'll go ahead and show you manually right now how we're going to do this. Just power off your phone. All right, phone is powered off. Press and hold the volume and uh, volume down rocker and power button. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and click the volume down rocker until we get to Android Recovery. And then you're going to click the volume up rocker. And it's going to enter Android Recovery for me any minute now. There we go. All right, so, all right, hopefully you guys can see that okay. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here just so you guys can see it a little better. There we go. All right, so uh, obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is um, create a backup of the current ROM you already have just in case something goes wrong. So by doing so, you'll obviously be uh, going down to Backup and Restore, and then you'll be selecting Backup. I've already uh, created backups. Oh, shoot, it's going to back it up anyways. Okay, well, I'll cut out when uh, this new backup is finished installing. Okay, we are back after our uh, mistaken backup. Um, a side note, uh, backing up the ROM you have does take about five minutes. So um, when it starts to do its thing, don't get freaked out and start thinking that your phone's frozen or something like that. It just takes a little while to back up. 
Okay, so next you're going to want to go into um, mounts and storage. Scroll on down to, and the first thing we're going to do is uh, format the system. And that'll take just a moment. All right, once you're, all right, once you're done formatting data, we'll go ahead and format cache and um, format data. All right, once you're done formatting cache, we're going to go ahead and format, oops, sorry, not that. We're going to want to format pre-install. All right, now that you're done uh, formatting all that stuff, we're going to click go back. Then we're going to do one more thing just for uh, safety, make sure everything's gone. We're going to go ahead and click um, wipe cache partition. All right, now that you've wiped uh, your cache partition, we'll go down to advanced and wipe Delvit cache. Click yes. That'll take just a second. Um, then we'll click go back and wipe factory data reset. And that'll obviously take just a moment. Well, longer than a moment. <laughs> All right, so the wipe of data and factory reset is now complete. What we're going to go ahead and do now is uh, hit install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and I'm going to go ahead and locate the new Neutrino version 2.6 GT. So I'll go ahead and click on that and flash that. This is obviously going to take a moment. It's actually pretty quick uh, flashing this particular one. As you can see, it says um, installation will take 15 seconds. So I'm just going to keep this on camera here. <clears throat> All right, installation from SD card complete. So now we're not done yet. We still need to put our add-ons, the the, the um, uh, G app zip and all that stuff. So what you're going to go ahead and do is click choose zip from SD card again. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to locate where these are. <clears throat> so um, let's see here. There's my, uh, I've renamed that my uh, my light G apps file as neutrino G zip because it's easier for me to memorize. Um, so we'll go ahead and flash that one. And that's done. Go back into choose, choose it from SD card. And I am going to be selecting next uh, the sync add-on. And I will be adding the, the GPS mod. Apparently it helps get you a uh, much faster GPS lock. That one's flashed. And I uh, will also be flashing um, what else did I need to flash? Ah, the live wallpaper add-on. And, uh, can't remember if there's anything else. I'll take one more look. Stuff that I like to add for add-ons. Um, I think that is it. So that is it for add-ons. Now all you gotta do is, uh, click go back. Go back again. And reboot system now. And that is it. And we'll just, uh, I'll cut back to the um, boot animation as soon as that pops up. All right, we are back. And that boot animation flew by really, really quickly. So I apologize for that. Um, as you can see, here's the lock screen. Just focus that a little bit more for you guys. And just a quick look at it. Um, this does, this new version does come with uh, Launcher Pro instead of ADW, which is what I believe he had uh, installed on the ROM before previous versions, um, as well as Fox's uh, 023 uh, 1.3 gigahertz overclock kernel for stability and awesome battery performance. And um, as you can see, he, you know, has it themed already, the Neutrino theme and uh, all that good stuff. But anyways, stay tuned because I will be coming at you with another review on this particular ROM, version 2.6, because some big changes have been made. Um, speed enhancements, battery, all kinds of other tweaks that uh, Notorious was kind enough to include while he's working hard on the CM9 Neutrino ROM. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, guys. That is how you install version 2.6 Neutrino ROM from Notorious over at XDA. Big shout out to him. Thank you very much, Notorious. You are... 
probably hands down my favorite developer and probably one of the hardest working ones out there. Um, hopefully if you like this video, uh, please support this channel. Give us a thumbs up down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one in the future.